I'm Jennifer Boris with QuoteCleveland.com, and today we are here with Chef Michael Simon. He's the owner and chef of Lola and Lolita. You know him here in Cleveland. He's also an Iron Chef, and you've seen him on a bunch of shows on the Food Network. So thanks so much for oh, being with us here today. Thanks for having today. me. Absolutely. And uh, right now it's an honor. See, yeah, well, kitchens rolling, you. getting ready for service on a Monday night, and having a lot of fun. So I'm sure a lot of people want to know Lola and Lolita. Where do the names come from? Well, Lola, my aunt. I have an aunt, Lola, and she's okay. a very like full of life high energy woman a lot of charisma um, and I love her but we didn't name it after her we just loved her name so we stole the name we told her, her okay. we named it after her but we, we but what it was is I love her zest for life uh -huh. and that that really is why we named the restaurant Lola because okay. we wanted it to really have that really lively right. high energy feeling and Lolita in Greek and Spanish is always the little sister of Lola so that's where Lolita came from well there you have it and tell us a little bit about roast because that just opened towards the end of 2008 in Detroit right yeah we uh, we opened a restaurant with Starwood Group and Furchel Group in Detroit called Roast. It's a, it's a meat emporium kind of thing. We do whole roasted lamb and goat and suckling pig and dried steaks. And it was just named uh, Restaurant of the Year by the Detroit Press, Free Press, which was uh, Congratulations. an enormous honor for us because Wolfgang Puck is there and Michael Mean and a lot of other big name chefs. So uh, we were really thrilled to get the award. So tell me for you, obviously you're branching out a little bit, but you always come back here to Cleveland. You're from Cleveland. Um, ever since you opened up the Lola restaurant, it seems like the whole culinary scene has just been growing and changing. How do you feel knowing that you kind of oh, I, that in the Yeah, I mean, I'm super proud. I mean, this is my home. This is where I was born and raised. Um, and I moved back here from New York in 1989. And to see how much the restaurant scene has changed since then is unbelievable it's been a great to be part of it and it's been great to see a lot of guys that have worked for me have su to have success from there uh, John Sawyer's getting ready to open up right next door he's like my little son I love him yeah. you know <laughs> little brother maybe uh, but Tom Quick uh, who worked for me years ago has had a tremendous amount of success Michael Longo um, so it's it's nice to see the people that, that to watch it grow and uh, you know and, and there was a great foundation here there wasn't a lot of great restaurants here but Paul Manillo had done wonderful mm -hmm. things and uh, Carl Quack and uh, I mean there's just so many the old guard that kind of laid the groundwork and then people like me helped it and then it just continues to grow so it's uh, it's an exciting time to dine in Cleveland. What are you seeing here for the future of I, mean, I, I think there'll be a, con a continual movement. I think we're very blessed that uh, we have really strong farmers markets here and right. great local farmers. So I think the farm to table movement in Cleveland, um, which I'm proud to say I've been part of, is continue to grow and it's going to continue to move forward. And I think that's one of the things that'll really make Cleveland unique to other cities mm -hmm. in that sense. Um, and I think that'll be the main movement. I hope it will. I hope it's always about the food and then the right. other stuff follows. And I know for you, one of your, if not your favorite foods is pork, am I right? Uh, I'm a big bacon? fan of pork, yeah, okay. every every bit of the animal. And you, uh, <laughs> I know you even have bacon on, a, it's part of the dessert, and that seems like, even we do, though yeah. you've been a fan of it, it seems like that's getting to be kind of a trend, right? Bacon. It is, it is, um, you know, s sweet and savory, uh -huh. I think, are becoming a trend. We're blessed. We have without a shadow of a doubt, the best pastry chef in the city, Corey Barrett here, one of the best pastry chefs in America. So he develops all these great recipes. He does a bacon, we call it the 6 a.m. special. It's bacon ice cream with brioche French toast, and um, it's it's pretty spectacular. See, that, you know, it's one of those things that most people wouldn't think to put it together, but, no, but I bet you know, it tastes really good. And the funny thing is here, it's our number one selling dessert. It outsells chocolate, which in the restaurant business, nothing else sells chocolate. So it's, uh, it's fun to see how people... They, they're, they come here, I think, and they're willing to take a little bit more of a risk. Right. They expect it. Yeah. So what do you think, what are uh, popular, I guess, menu items for Clevelanders? What do you think Clevelanders want, as opposed to maybe other parts of the country? Um, I, you know, I think Cleveland, uh, you know, it's a Midwestern town, and, and the food here is very Midwestern driven. Mm -hmm. I think they like to concentrate on things that they're familiar with, maybe some comfort food kind of things. Um, and that's what we've always had the most success with, and, and doing them with a little bit of a twist. Like, yeah. we do pierogies, but we stuff them with beef cheese. Um, you know, we make a classic frisee salad, but maybe we do a crispy pig ear with it. So right. we always mix in um, interesting interesting things that they might not expect, but they grow to love. So I think it's all about, for, for Cleveland, they don't want all the fuss and the mess. And the, right. They want great food, little fuss, great service, um, you know, at a, at a, a reasonable price, where it should be priced, not astronomically right. priced. And, and, and that's, I think, one of the reasons we've been able to be so successful. It's been th almost 13 years now. Wow. So. 
in Cleveland or is they I was have thin with hair when this whole thing started. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. Now, tell me about, you're a busy guy. You've got all these different things you've been doing on the Food Network really for years now. You're an iron chef. Yep. How does that work? How do you, is that something you do throughout the year? What's the schedule? No, iron chef's beautiful. It, uh, I do Iron Chef. It takes me about 12 to 15 days to do a whole entire uh, year worth of filming. So it, it takes me out of the restaurant very little. The Food Network's very conscious of that, you know, Bobby and Mario and, and Morimoto and myself and, that, and Kat, that we're restaurant tours and, and that's, that's what we do for a living. And so they want to keep us in our restaurants and, and they, they make the filming very easy for us. It's good. So what else? Um, you, you've got the Iron Chef show. Do you have anything else coming up? We're, with the Food Network? we're, we're concepting a couple new shows for the Food Network. Hopefully one of them will hit and maybe we'll start uh, filming in summer or fall. Right. So we're, we're close. We're, we're tweaking some different concepts. Um, the thing I'm most excited about that I've been doing a lot of work on now is uh, Cookbook. So that'll come out in November of this year. It's going to be called Simon Says. Very nice. If you're cursed with a goofy name, you might as well go might with as it. Well use it right? So uh, it's going to be Simon Says Live to Cook, and it'll be recipes from my childhood till now. So some of them will be things I cooked by my mom's side right. when I was a kid, and some of them will be things that we do on Iron Chef. It'll have a really wide scope to it, and uh, really, really excited about that. So. Anything else you want to let everyone know about? Yeah, yeah, you know, I think that's about it. We got a couple other things in the works that I can't talk about yet, but Cool Cleveland will be the first okay, to know. Okay, you let us know. <laughs> you let us know when you're ready, right? Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. It was uh, nice to come in here and check it out. You, you feel the heat? You're busy working. You can yeah. feel the heat. Standing right here. You can't take the heat. Yeah, yeah you got to get out of the kitchen. Well, well we're close enough to the kitchen, <laughs> right. so we can take we it. We have right? a little barrier. That's right. Well, beautiful. <laughs> this is Michael Seibert from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great, cool, Cleveland week. That's right. <laughs>